26th April 2023 Morning Murphy Om Shanti Bhattada Madhupan Sweet children, your duty is to earn the imperishable jewels of knowledge and inspire others to earn them. You don't need to ask before making a donation. You have to demonstrate doing it. Question Which pure desire does the father always have in his heart? In which aspect does the father want you to become equal to himself? Answer The father always has the desire in his heart to have your children happiness. The unlimited father never thinks about performing a sinful act or causing anyone sorrow because he is the bestower of happiness. The father wishes to make his children equal to himself and thus we. Pharisees, sweet children, check. Do I always have pure thoughts? I don't have any sinful thoughts. Do I? Song, look at your face and the mirror of your heart. Oh man. Om Shanti. God speaks. Who said, look at your face and the mirror of your heart? Oh man. A human being is an embodied soul. Embodied souls are children of the Father. You know that you are souls. At this time, the father of your souls is the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. The father of bodily being is Prajapita Brahma. You are the children of Ba and Dada. The father sits here and explains to you, embodied souls, Oh, children, check in the mirror of your heart. To what percentage have I become a charitable soul? How much charity? Do I perform? People don't understand that donations have to be made and charity perform of the imperishable dwells of knowledge. It has now entered your intellects that your father, teacher, and Sadhguru are the one unlimited father. Your body consciousness is breaking. We have been remembering that unlimited father for half a cycle, remembering him. Begin on the path of devotion. Devotees remember God. The belief that God is one. The father of us souls is that incorporeal one. Animals etc. too have corporeal fathers. However, that Baba is our true Baba who is the resident of the supreme abode. He is the one who makes us true. All of those who reside in the land of truth are charitable souls. You know that to the extent you remain honest with the Father, you will accordingly receive a high status in the Father's land of truth. This race is for that. Through a worldly study, someone would become a barrister and someone else would become an engineer. Some would be weak and others would be strong. Some would earn a hundred thousand and others would scarcely earn 500 rupees. Everything depends on how you study. Your children are making your treasure stores full of the jewels of knowledge. Only these will be useful to you. You have to embed them and become charitable souls. Donate them to others and make them into charitable souls. Ask your heart, how much do I embed and how much charity do I perform? If I don't perform charity, I would definitely remain in a sinful soul. Therefore, look at your face. The teacher and father would also know about those who sit at the back. You can tell everything from the register. That is a physical matter, but this is incognito. Mama and Baba content to inspire you to imbibe. Imbibe the imperishable jewels of knowledge and also inspire others to embed them. If you don't become a charitable soul yourselves, how could you make others that? This is not a worldly matter. Here this is a spiritual matter. To the extent that someone is wealthy, his mercury of happiness accordingly rises. Some people 
have a lot of wealth. It is printed in the newspapers which ones are the wealthiest of all at this time. It is number wise. Here it is not a matter of perishable wealth. Here you have to earn and inspire others to earn the imperishable jewels of knowledge. You don't need to ask about anything in this. You don't need to ask before making a donation. You have to demonstrate doing it. The fantasies check in the mirror of your heart as to how much of a charitable soul you have become. We were all number one sinful souls. We were also number one charitable souls. Each of us has once again received a third eye of knowledge. We are becoming charitable souls to the extent that you accumulate this wealth of knowledge accordingly you become wealthy. We now become beggars of imperishable wealth and wealthy with imperishable wealth. We have an exchange. We give our bodies, minds and wealth everything to Baba. Baba then gives us the jewels of knowledge with which we receive everything new. Body, mind and wealth. Their maya doesn't exist to cause anyone's mind to wander around. Here people's minds are influenced by maya. The mind is the thing that causes the most trouble. When there is no yoga, the mind becomes like a devil. You have to see how much wealth you take from Baba and how much you then donate to others. Mama and Baba are also human beings, the same as you. They too listen with their ears. The incorporeal father speaks with these organs. Incorporeal souls have their own bodies. This is an old Iron Age body that continues to cause sorrow. You children know that the father comes and makes you constantly happy. You have found the father and so there is clapping of happiness inside and this is why there is clapping externally also. First of all, there is the clapping of thoughts inside and then there is clapping externally. First, it would come to you that you should do something and then you would do it with your physical organs. Therefore, check whether you have pure thoughts or sinful thoughts inside you. Pure thoughts are pure thoughts and sinful thoughts are impure thoughts. The unlimited father does not have sinful thoughts. He is the bestower of happiness. You would have sinful thoughts of causing someone sorrow or of performing a sinful act. I come here to make you identical to myself. You know that the father would always make his children equal to himself. Children are not given birth to experience sorrow. They take sorrow according to their own karma. The mother and father want to keep the children very happy. But Maya interferes. A physical father would believe that he is giving his children a lot of happiness by getting them married. However, the father from beyond says to get married means to bring total ruin to oneself. I make you into such a beautiful flowers that when you marry in heaven, you will become the empresses and emperors and swing and swings. Look how much difference there is in the intellects of physical fathers and in the father from beyond. At this time, people have very strong sanskars of Maya in them. It is as though they are like Ajamil, the greatest singer. I want to make you children so happy that you swing and swings. The unlimited father had such a first class desire in his heart to give happiness to the children. Parents create children and so they have to make them happy. The unlimited father also wants his children to be happy. However, there is a lot of difference between the intellects of worldly fathers and the father from beyond. The unlimited father says, connect your intellects in yoga to me and break your intellects away from your physical parents and your friends and relatives etc and everything to you. Maya causes you sorrow in every situation 
whereas I make you into oceans of happiness. I myself do not experience the happiness of the kingdom. However, I am called the ocean of happiness and the ocean of peace and this is why I am able to make you happy. He explains so clearly. No one else can explain in this way. It is only in Bharat that the saying, You are the mother and the father. Where did this praise that they continue to sing emerge from? The father says, You receive all happiness from me alone. This is why I tell you to break away from everyone else. Forget all your relatives, etc., including your own body. Consider yourselves to be souls. The father makes you into such beautiful flowers. He says, Listen to me alone and have yoga with me alone. Just as I am the ocean of knowledge and I know the whole of creation in the same way, I also turn this world cycle around in your intellects. A mother and father never cause their children sorrow. They don't create a creation to cause them sorrow. The father now says, the past is the past. Now according to the drama, they can pure and beautiful. There, there is no question of vice. You are becoming emperors and empresses. The whole world says the golden age, heaven, is the viceless world. Everyone worships the deities of that place because they were pure and full of all virtues. They had to become those with no degrees from being those with 16 celestial degrees. Look at what happens with the moon at the end. It is called Anavas, means the night of no moon the darkest night. It is the same here. Human beings now don't have any virtues, let alone 16 degrees they don't have even one degree. Because of them not having even one degree, this is called extreme darkness. Then by developing those qualities, you will become 16 celestial degrees full. You have now become those who have no degrees and ugly. It is said, the dark night of Brahma. Brahma is called Prajapita. You are called Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. At first, there was the dark night of the BKs, and you have now come into the light and are once again becoming 16 celestial degrees full. The degrees of the Sun dynasty, who were 16 degrees full, contain the degrees. You are now imbibing all degrees. You imbibe them in such a way that you become 16 celestial degrees full in the golden age. Just as the king and queen became 16 celestial degrees full in the same way, so do you lucky stars, as are the king and queen, so the subjects. It is number wise. Kings have now become beggars, and from beggars they will become kings again. The father now says, forget all of them and become bodiless. Consider yourselves to be souls and forget your friends and relatives, etc. You now surrender everything you have. I give you the imperishable jewels of knowledge. No one can put a value on each jewel. Baba tells you the story of Rup and Basant, the one from whose mouth jewels used to emerge. They have created the scriptures of the path of devotion. Only the one found a grand salvation. He grants you salvation with knowledge. This is also called the nectar of knowledge. The speak of Mansarovar means a lake in which you become an angel by taking a day. It is also called nectar. They gave you water to drink there. Brahmins keep that water in a small urn and call it nectar. In fact, this gyan means nectar is knowledge. The father says, Be loved, children, become soul conscious. My will not leave you alone. When you try to become soul conscious, my continues to make you body conscious. This war is the number one war. My makes you become body conscious and throws you straight into a pit. She doesn't take long. Therefore, use your own intellects. Baba says, Study very well. And the name of the teacher will also be glorified. The father is the one who gives you the prize. 
a prize is given to those who study well and who also teach well. They are praised. If you want to claim a high status, first of all, look in the mirror of your heart. Do I love the Father? How soul conscious am I? How much effort do I make day and night? When body consciousness comes, you come to a hall on your pilgrimage. When you forget to remember the Father, you move two steps backwards. On the one side, there is profit and on the other side, there is a loss. When you become soul conscious, your account continues to become full. Maya makes you endure a loss somewhere or other. Responsible children are concerned about their accounts. Otherwise, some even go bankrupt. This business is such that there is profit and also loss. Maya makes you forget. Therefore, check how much you remember the father and how much you make others equal to yourselves. Businessmen keep all their accounts. Otherwise, there are not businessmen but fools. Some give happiness to many others. Children even write to Baba, so and so struck me with such an arrow that I became a charitable soul from a sinful soul. They send themselves to that person. You also have to act for your livelihood. Whilst living at home with your families, you also have to do business with the father. Burn away your sins with the power of yoga. Make others into charitable souls. All of this is work for your intellects. Your intellects became wholesome, means strong and healthy. When you remember the father, otherwise, out of body consciousness, you would remember your friends and relatives. Maya doesn't leave you alone. Whilst following Shibaba's directions, you even kick Srimad aside and your status is then destroyed. At the end, there will be great repentance and you will cry out in distress. Good children climb into everyone's heart. They even glorify the name who are the Maharathis in the Pandava army and who are the Maharathis in that army. You know both armies. All of these matters have to be understood. Scarcely a few follow Srimad. Because of not following Srimad, you defend the Father's name. That is, you kick Srimad aside. This is the company of the truth. You make others equal to yourselves and make them into the masters of heaven. Maya makes you into such sinful souls that you even become run away from the Father. On the path of devotion, all of you are brides. In terms of Him being the Father, all of you have become His children. Then you are also His brides. And so, as brides, how much should you remember the bridegroom? Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning. From the mother, the father, Baptada, the spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the Dharna. First point, become Rup and Basant and let jewels of knowledge emerge through your lips. Make your intellects wholesome means strong and healthy with yoga second point give everyone happiness in the same way as father does and become a bestower of happiness never have any bad or sinful thought of causing anyone sorrow blessing may you stabilize your mind in an elevated position and finish the game of changing your pose and became an easy yogi. Explanation The position of your mind is visible in the way you pose your face. Some children carry a burden and become heavy with it. Sometimes because of the sun scars of thinking too much, they feel bigger than they could have imagined. Sometimes because of being disheartened 
they see themselves as being very small. So look at your poses as a detached observer and stabilize your mind in its most elevated position. Stop all your different poses and you will then be called an easy yogi. Slogan A soul who has a right to the mind of happiness is constantly happy and shares that happiness with everyone. Om Shanti